Welcome back to our home remodel. We are still in the small bedroom, but we're making progress on it. And today, we're gonna hopefully be starting the floor. There's only one small job I have to do before doing the floor, and that's a piece of woodwork that's gonna cap the end of this wall right here, which is the side of our closet. This is the beam we're gonna be putting here on the end of the wall. It's all sanded, it's cut to length. All I have to do is pre-drill some holes where the screws are gonna be going. Get ready for the loud. So now I'm just gluing in some half inch dowels into the holes to hide those screws. The post is in, that's looking good. Now we gotta put down our underlayment. Now we just bought a cheapo underlayment. Uh, I'm not worried about that. I know there's more expensive ones and cheaper ones, but always keep in mind that underlayment costs money. I know that when we were shopping for flooring, we really didn't, didn't want to spend more than $2 a square foot. We were on a budget and that's the max. So realistically, when we were shopping, we could only shop for about a dollar. Like this, the flooring that we chose, it was $1.50 a square foot because you gotta really calculate the underlayment into your pricing. This is the cheapest and it added 30 cents per square foot on the floor project. Yeah. They can range from anywhere from 30 cents a square foot up to like 60 cents a square foot more. So you might be thinking, oh, two bucks a square foot, that's a good deal. By the time you buy the underlayment, you're up to 250 a square foot and now you're over budget. And also keep in mind that some laminate flooring comes with the underlayment attached to it. Here's the floor that we're doing again. We did this in the master bedroom. We really love it. We're going to continue and the two smaller bedrooms that we'll have. So we have plenty of this to go down. We're going to try to get this done today. I'm hoping it goes quick because it's a small room. Now we're going to be laying our floor this way, the short way. Well, it's kind of long on that wall, but overall it's a short way. And last time we did that, we got a lot of complaints. Everybody saying, you gotta do it this way. Guys, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter which way your joists go. It doesn't matter how long the room is. You can lay a laminate floor any way you want. That's what's beautiful about it. It's your house, it's your design. Do what makes you happy. So we're gonna be laying it this way, just like our bedroom. And that's the way it's gonna fit the best for us as far as cuts, staggers and using the best use of the wood without too much waste. We're running out of light. We always say that because this bedroom is on the east side of the house as the sun goes over, you know. But we're making big progress. Look at it. We got a third of the room done. Yeah. One third done. We're gonna keep working. It's looking good though. Coming to the tricky closet. Got a couple more rows done, but we're losing light fast. I'm still working. Made it around the tricky corner. See it? I'm out of light, so I'm gonna take a break for the night. We'll work on this tomorrow morning. All right, it's morning time. You can see we got the light coming in. We can work again. Now we're at the doorway here and Doug has to cut a piece to go around this.
There it is. There it is. Perfect fit. Mm -hmm. working from the bottom of the pile. I tried keeping these in order the way I like them. It's like two and nine sixteenths. Oh, this is exciting. This is, this is the official last piece of flooring. Yay. To finish the room. Just like that. It's done. And you saw it go in. There it is. Wow. wow. This looks really good. This one came out better than our room. Yeah. So I'm going to be cutting off my dowels now that they've dried overnight. <laughs> Well, the floor came out awesome. We're so happy that that's done. And now we can put the door in. That's all we were waiting for on the door. We have it right behind this wall right here. So um, yeah, we're ready to put the door in. And as soon as that door is up, I can take this tarp down and we can start coming in and out a lot more easier. And not squeezing through there. Yep. So there's probably a right way to do this. And then there's my way to do this. What we find works best for us is to take the door off the hinges because it's easier for me to, to hang it that way. So I just threw a few shims in here to get a nice level spot to start with. Level, why do I keep seeing level? Plum. So the concept for me is to get that hinge side nice and plumb, firmly set. And once this is exactly where I want it, nice and straight, and then I can put the door on it and the door will be straight. And then all I have to do is hook this side in to make the gap up right for the door. All right, this is a little trick that I've learned is that you take the hinge off. You know, you want screws in your door frame so that the door doesn't sag over time. Nails can loosen up. And some people, they'll put a long screw right through one of these hinge holes into the wood framing members. The problem is, is that sometimes your screws don't match the screws on the plates and they're not always in a good spot. But if you take the hinge off, you can make a new hole to attach your door frame to your studs. And I do have a shim right behind there. Just flush. And now you can put your hinge back on. Covers up that screw. This works really good if you have black screws or depending on the hinge you have. And your door frame is really solid, but you're not relying on the screws going through the, these. I'm going to put one at the bottom too.
Alex, good. Close straight. I'm just going to cut off my shins. Okay, so here's the room, door where you come in, here's the main living space, and we've had some questions, where's the closet? The closet is back here in this nook, but you see it's kind of an odd setup, but it's kind of cool. Exposed closet, no doors. So when you come in the room from this way, you don't see the closet, this just feels more open. So we made good progress putting in some light switches and outlets around the room, but we did run out before we could finish. I got about three outlets I got to do left, but we did get some of them done. You can see this wall is looking, well it's behind Ashley, but here's another one. You can't even see them, they blend right in. Yeah. While I was in here doing that, I also hooked up our heater. So this is an electric wall mounted convection heater. That means it's silent, it just relies on the heat moving through the unit. And these are pretty good heaters. We've been using them and we like them so far. Yep. We like this better than like the long baseboard electric heaters. Right. So while we have the tools out, we thought we would start working on trim. We need baseboards and door trim. We're not doing the windows yet because we're going to be replacing that. Now we like to make our own trim out of inexpensive pine boards. We're going to go outside, rip and cut and sand our own trim and we'll start that. Plus, making our own trim is a lot cheaper than buying it. So now we have to bevel them. So here's most of the trim for the room. I have one more piece off to cut, but I got to get the door trim in before I can measure that. Now, these actually look really good. The lines are pretty crisp, but we don't like crisp edges because if you hit them, you notice those dings a lot more. So we're going to soften them up, round them off with the sander. That was a lot of sanding, but I can't believe the progress we're making. In this video, today, working on this room, flooring complete, door installed, outlets installed, heater installed, trim, let's do it. And just check it out. This one's gonna go here. It's gonna be cool.
See if that'll fit in there. I'm just gonna put a little glue on it. Doesn't need it, but might as well. Oh, that's snug. Not perfect. Let's see if I got this one right this time. Oh, that's perfect. Well, that about wraps it up for tonight. We got so much done today. A little bit yesterday, but we'll call it today. It's crazy that was the mm -hmm. most work we've gotten done in a day in a long time we got the floor done the door done the trim done the heater in the outlets in we just got to pick up a few more and i didn't show it but i just put the ceiling light in just one of them but we'll wait for the reveal for that because that's all part of the finishing touches wow it looks so good we got yeah. so much done and now we can take a break from that project because the rest of it is literally like well, we got to oil the wood, but then it's all furniture, odds and ends, and decor. So, you and guys... And that'll be the reveal video. Yeah. And we're going to go slow on that because there's some projects we got to do before then. We got to order stuff that we want to get. All I can say is we'll get it done. And when we are ready to reveal it, we'll be sure to reveal it. Yeah. We'll try to at least. This is a huge check, check, check off the list. So, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you guys are loving the home renovation videos and we'll have plenty more coming. So stay tuned for that. And until next time, take care. Bye.